uh, right out south in Mobile, Alabama, for the Lending Tree Bowl between seven and five Eastern Michigan and seven and five Liberty. The Flames are nine and a half point favorites over under 58 and a half. This game will be played 545 Eastern on ESPN. Motivational edge, uh, I say Eden. EMU is 0 and 3 in bowls under Chris Creighton. Their last bowl win for Eastern Michigan came in the California Bowl in 1987. They beat San Jose State as 17 and a half point underdogs. However, the three bowls that Creighton has coached in for Eastern Michigan, they didn't win any of them, but they covered all three. They lost by four, two, and four. Mm-hmm. Liberty, meanwhile, is 2 and 0 in bowls. They both of them came in the past two years. Still, this is like an up and coming program, um, kind of a chip on their shoulder. I think that they'll carry here. So I don't think there's a motivational edge either way. Malik Willis apparently will play. Some project him as a first round draft pick. I don't personally see it, but um, he looks like he's going to play and then play in the senior bowl. When I, so the question is, can Eastern Michigan make it four straight bowls covering, or maybe they can pull off this outright upset. When I look at the handicap from an advanced metrics standpoint, Liberty is better at defending the pass and the run. That's good against Eastern Michigan. Eastern Michigan can't run the ball. And it's really there. They have a couple of really good receivers. Ben Bryant, the Cincy transfer, has been good at quarterback. The worst unit in this game by far is the Eastern Michigan run defense is horrifying, horrifying. <laughs> and Liberty has a very good rushing attack. So is that ultimately going to be the difference here? It's just Eastern Michigan won't be able to stop. Liberty's ground game and then Liberty's pass defense, which is decent, especially compared to its run D, is going to be able to get a few more stops. What do you see here? Yeah, Chris Creighton 3 0 against the spread in those bowl games, but I don't know if the spread matters. You want to win that bowl game, which he hasn't yet, but Hugh Freeze 5 and 1 against the spread in his bowl game. So he brings prepared teams. I think that goes back to when we talked about how what Lane Kiffin said of Hugh Freeze, that he's one of the best coaches in the nation at getting his team prepared for games. And I think that really plays into this here. Uh, I was an early buyer on Liberty. I mean, just, I already knew they were having problems with turnovers. I knew they were having problems on the offensive line. And that's just something that Eastern Michigan can't expose whatsoever. So, you know, Liberty, I think something else to acknowledge, like Liberty went over the total just once away from home. They ended the season losing three straight. They didn't cover the last three games minus 11 in net turnovers over their last three games. And, you know, EMU ended the season on three straight unders too. So it's not like these two teams were lighting things on fire. I'm not sure how you don't lay it with Liberty here. And I know that Eastern Michigan historically under Creighton, every game is one possession. I I think like (laughs) there's almost never a game where they win by more than seven or they lose a game by more than seven, but I'm not sure how you don't lay with Liberty. Liberty didn't, you know, cover or win straight up the last three, but we talked about the turnovers and, you know, Malik Willis is just, he's not getting any protection whatsoever. This offensive line is ranked 54th in pass blocking by PFF. And if you dig a little bit deeper, Liberty's 128th in passing down sack rate. They're near dead last. They can't protect him whatsoever. A little bit is that him leaving the pocket and trying to do too much, but they can't protect him at all. Eastern Michigan's defense, 119th in havoc, dead last in stuff rate. 92nd and passing down sack rate. They can't get to him. And if they can, he's he's gone. He's gone. So if Malik want, Willis wants to run, he can run. If he wants to pass, he's going to be able to pass. But if he needs time to throw, he's going to get it against a lifeless EMU defense. They have been lifeless on defense and on offense the last three games. Ben Bryant, uh, he just wilted. Uh, against Central Michigan, three turnover worthy plays to end the season. He had one big time throw his final three games. I have no clue what happened to the Eagles in Maction in November. Uh, I mean, they have a balanced attack, but they're better in, in passing success rate than they are running the ball. So if Bryant can't get back on track with an offense that's top 25 in finishing drives, Liberty's going to run away with this thing. And Malik Willis is off to the NFL draft, and he's going to need to build that stock. And if Bryant can somehow put together drives, you know, the over's in play. So, uh, you know, I, I think you're looking at the over, but you need Eastern Michigan to do their part. I make this game 54 I think at the key of 59, I I would look under. The Eagles, like I said, they're just lifeless. And if they switch out of Ben Bryant to Preston Hutchison, then that makes this game a complete grinder on the ground because that's all that kid knows how to do is just uh, zone read, uh, hit the A gap. And uh, he's really good in the red zone because he's tough to stop. But the under is really going to hit if Ben Bryant gets pulled for Preston Hutchison. So Liberty is the play for me. 
I think Malik Willis goes crazy. EMU doesn't have the defense to cause enough havoc uh, to get the turnovers. Again, you are playing on a point spread that's above seven against Eastern Michigan, so tread lightly.